Hey y'all, welcome to Fresh and Cool. I'm your host, Liberty Lane, straight out of Cool Town. Here we'll be taking you underground to discover the undiscovered, highlighting raw, new talent that is sure to break the surface. We might be unheard and crank up the amplifier so the world can catch a glimpse of who might be the next generation of entertainers. You never know, it could be you. Be sure to stick around for links to find out more about the artists at the end of the segment. Without further ado, here's who's fresher than cool. younger I heard some actually when I was about nine I heard some Guns N' Roses one time right when uh, Use Your Illusion 1 came out and uh, I actually had just bought Appetite Destru- for Destruction the first one and uh, it hit me so hard and I just loved the whole rock thing and just it, the music made me feel a certain way it was like every time I buy an album it was like buying an emotion and it just changed my whole life and I've never been the same since. Since music's already been there, I'd say that I discovered it. In fact, I don't think that people create new things. Things are already there. It's just that you realize them. And in that aspect, I found music. Music's been there for millions of years, probably, you know, and uh, I figured it out. Since I do a lot of different types of music, I love everything going back from classical, classic rock, I love West Coast gangster rap. I even like to mix them a lot. I'll put on a gangster beat with some metal guitar or something like that. And just try to be creative, anything. You know, anything goes, no rules. I don't write new things. I discover things that are already there that nobody knows about. Do I ever write from personal experiences? Uh, yeah, all the time. You can still write about experiences even if you haven't experienced them. You know, you can write about what you think that might experience might be like as well. But I often do write about my own personal experiences or or about yeah, or about my interpretation of somebody else's. There would be tons of people I would love to collaborate. Peter Gabriel, um, Trent Reznor, maybe Ogre from Skinny Puppy, maybe. Um, yeah, there's, there's a ton of them. Prince, um, Dr. Dre. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of people I would love to work with. Uh, a lot of a lot of my um, childhood idols have kind of uh, a lot of them have disappointed me throughout the years. So I'm not sure who's my fave now, but there's definitely a lot of uh, great. Um, Artists and producers that have influenced me over the years that I would love to work with. So there's no, there's no one guy. I just want people to listen to the music and enjoy themselves. You know, relate to an experience that we're either talking about or something that they're doing. Have fun. If people can listen and have a good time while playing my music or music that I've worked on. That's what makes me happy power to move people, you know, if you move people with your music, that's the magic in it. about the artist, you can visit our blog at 
cooltownclaymation.blogspot.com and it will be in the video description or check out the links to follow. Remember to check out our site for updates on upcoming segments and other news. And if you think you're fresher than cool or know someone who is, you can find out more about the submission process by emailing us at cooltownclaymation at gmail.com. I'm Liberty Lane and just for tuning in and telling your friends about Cool Town Cremation, you're officially fresher than cool. See you next time. Liberty Lane and I'm here to say I'm rocking with Kuta from around the way. We're chilling on the ground and checking you out. So come to Kuta and then work it out. What, 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 what? Yeah, yeah.